Alright, hey guys, Comrade Sunder FP VOD, and this game is a PVT on uh, one of the newer maps. Um, the spawn locations are 2 o'clock, um, 4 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and uh, 10 o'clock. That's a pretty fucked up clock, um, but you know, the corners, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, okay. So this game, um, okay, first of all, just note this. Look how I'm mining my mineral fields. I'm mining the closest mineral fields um, to my nexus, and so therefore I'm getting minerals slightly faster. And sure, it's not that big of a difference, but why not do it, right? Why not? And notice where I built my pylon. It's closest to the nexus, so I'm not losing any mineral fields while building it, or losing any mining time while building it. Again, all these small things, sure, they might not help you win the game. No one's ever going to be like, oh, I lost the game because I didn't mine efficiently at the start. No, of course it's not going to be like that, but... They're gonna help, and they're gonna help, like, they're gonna do minor helps, like, your Zealot's gonna be out a second earlier, so, maybe if they're rushing you, you can, you can get an extra, like, you, extra hit off on a Marine, maybe that'll help kill a Marine, you never know, like, it's just better than, it's better to do it than not to do it. And I'll just still notice where I built my gateway, it's also closest to my, um, Nexus, or the closest possible way for it not to fuck up my gas mining or any stupid spot, actually. Um, obviously there's closer places, but that'll fuck up my mining and whatnot, but, um, Whatever, it's okay. And I'm starting with my gateway probe. Why am I doing that? Because, um, again, I, I think, like, I never really like to scout with a pylon probe because you're with a pylon probe, you're scouting because you want to essentially make sure your opponent... You want to make sure you get a scout on your opponent. And I I think scouting's important, but I don't think it's so big to the point where... Sorry, scouting early game's important. But I think you can... Without ever actually seeing what your opponent's base, I think you can be able to tell what they're doing, judging by their ramp, what units they have at their ramp, how many units they have at their ramp, when they're getting their expansion. Um, so that's why I don't think getting inside their base is very necessary. Scouting is very important, it's just scouting in other ways is really important. Why did I build that pylon up there? Because I wanted to see what react, what, what he, what's he getting on the barracks, what add-on is he getting, is he getting a tech, tech lab or a reactor? And um, why didn't I build it at the place where the barracks would get an add-on is because I wanted to see what add-on he'd get. And also, I harassed him and made him cancel the depot he was making. So again, small things really help. Um, taking the watchtower, my first unit's going to be a stalker because I realize he's not sort of rushing me. The only time you really need to get a lot is when your opponent's rushing you. And notice where I'm putting my probe. I'm putting my probe closest, closest to the exit of the watchtower. Why am I doing that? Because if he's pushing out, my probe doesn't have to run all the way out of the watchtower to get out. All he has to do is go down the ramp. And again, small things like that. That might have helped me save my probe. And you know what? That's great if you save your probe. Um, so yeah, getting my stock heroes. That's only necessary if your opponent's rushing you. And this is smart of him by keeping this SUV here to see when I'm expanding. Um, I'm also going to do the same thing in his base. I'm going to keep an SUV at his base to see when he's expanding. And now uh, I'm just going to get my stalker. I don't want to make my probe attack it because I don't want him to run away because I want the stalker to kill it. Um, and now I'm putting my nexus down. That was kind of a mistake on my part. Why shouldn't I put that nexus down? I should have waited for that fog of war to disappear from the SCV before I built the nexus so you wouldn't know if I'm expanding or not. Um, again, mind games. All mind games, guys. Um, three gate. Um, now notice where I'm going. I'm hugging the ramp. Why am I doing hugging the ramp? Because I want to see if a marauder has slow if he shoots me or not. Because think of it. How many times you guys ran up the ramp and then a marauder hits you with, and he has concussive shells? And then your stalker dies. See, that sucks, right? To prevent that, you have to hug the ramp and let the marine or marauder get some shots on you so they can't kill you um, when you run up the ramp because you'll run away if you see the marauder. And now, what is going through my head? I see a bunker with marines inside it. Where does that mean? That means that he's he's got gas, but he's not using it, and so I'm expecting Banshee attack. And always right when I saw that bunker, I put down my robotics facility. If you don't believe me, go rewind the video and, video and you will see. Um, right when I saw the marines inside the bunker, I put down the robotics facility because I know he's mining gas, but he hasn't spent that gas. And the only time you mine gas without spending it is when you're teching to some sort of banshee tech or tank tech or battle cruiser tech, but no one ever goes out there. Um, so yeah, um, now I'm mining my second gas and only transferring enough probes to my expansion so my main has exactly 16 workers at it. And now chrono boosting my obs. Um, again, kind of like... This is just all reading my opponent. I saw the marines inside the bunker, and so I anticipated that he was going Banshee. And now I also have a probe noticing he's not going to be expanding, and when he expands, I'll know that I'm safe to, to probe up again, and I'm safe to get my second or third and fourth gas. Um, right now, I know he's not expanding, so I'm not going to be trying to um, get 
extra unit or extra probes, but um, I know I'm still making probes. Not, I'm not corner boosting them. But that's what I'm talking about. And notice I saw the Banshee because I knew it would be coming, and the Banshee did absolutely no damage. I saw him in the main map trying to go for my main. So now I'm going to make my stalkers go to my main. Um, and I'm bringing the OBS with me because I know he could have an OBS. And, um, sorry, not an OBS. He could have Cloak. And so, again, Banshee did absolutely zero damage. I am extremely ahead right now. I have an expansion. He doesn't. Now, one OBS in my main, one OBS in my natural, two stalkers in my main, two stalkers in my natural. That's kind of standard. That's what I expect all you guys to do. Um, and, okay, yeah. Now this is where this game is getting uh, intense. He hasn't expanded yet. What does this mean? This means he's going for some sort of all-in push. Now I gotta get my extra gateways. Now I gotta stop making probes. Cause now he's at the point. I, this is all comes from experience, by the way. He's at that point where he's going for some sort of all-in. What all-in is he going for? Well, think about it. He's made two banshees. What all-in do you go for when you have two banshees and a star for it with a tech lab? You usually go for a tank marine SCV or a tank marine uh, banshee SCV all-in. Um, and so notice I've stopped. I've cut pro production, and now I'm just making mass units and. I'm ready for the all-in. I have the watchtower to know what he's going to be pushing out, and I'm chrono boosting. I'm chrono boosting my gateways, and I'm ready for the all-in. Lots of you guys lose to the all-in because you don't prepare for it. Right now, I know it's coming, and there it is in the mini map. There's the all-in. And now, um, this is what you have to do against the all-in. Get your stalkers really ahead. Micro your stalkers until the army reaches your base, and then engage with your zealots. I'm not doing that right now, which is really stupid. I should be running back, making my stalkers uh, micro and um, let the zealots chill until he gets all the way to my base. Um, and now here he goes, okay. Um, I'm trying to do that, but he's already at my base, so I can't really do it anymore. Um, and notice I killed a banshee. It's really useful to do small things like that. And now he unpowered that gateway, again, really smart on his part. Um, that banshee, I don't really recommend it being there. I think it's better if the banshee is with his army. Now I'm gonna keep one stalker here because I know that one stalker can kill that banshee because it's a really low life. And now he's got siege mode, so again, I'm trying to get my zealots up front and then let my stalkers behind and just, uh, this is all, it's not really big micro here, I just have more units than him because I knew that it was coming. Um, zealots, right when your zealots die, okay, really important, right when my zealots die, I ran away and reinforced the zealots. Don't let your stalkers die, this is kind of like StarCraft 1 for all you players to play StarCraft 1. Whenever your zealots died, you made your dragoons run away and, and reinforced with more zealots, and then when those zealots died, you did the same thing, and just don't let, don't ever let your stalkers die. And now notice, um, he's kind of lost this game already, um, but this is, and notice he brought his CVs too, so this is kind of how you defend a Banshee Marine SCV all in. Um, it's pretty much over. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm already saying, yeah, okay, he called GG. Um, but yeah, so notice how the only reason I was able to defend that was because I had to probe at his expansion knowing that he wasn't expanding. And with that knowledge in mind, I knew that he was going for some sort of all-in. And I depicted what all-in he was going for based on his unit composition, uh, i.e. the Banshees at my base. Um, so again, stuff like that, again, it's all about reading your opponent, and once you get at a higher level, it all comes down to reading your opponent. That's why you don't see that many all-ins at a higher level, because people easily be, are able to read your opponent. Um, that Watchtower SC probe and the probe at his expansion, again, you always want to probe uh, at those places um, to see when they're moving out and shit. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, look forward to more coming out, and like always... Peace motherfucking out.